Aloha everybody, this is Connor at Kona Freedivers. Uh, I'm here today to show you how to tie a spear gun rubber. Uh, if you know how to do this, it saves you money in the long run and you can do it on the fly so you don't have to always have to go to a shop and have them do it if you don't have access to it. We've done the math and over the last decade, I think I've tied probably 20,000 bands or so, uh, give or take a thousand or two. Um, so yeah, this is how I do it. There's different ways to do it. Uh, they're all right for the most part, uh, but this is the way that I've learned how to do it. My aunt taught me this years ago, and uh, this is just the most efficient way that I, I can do it. Um, so what we're doing is we're starting out with some 14 millimeter high modulus, hot pink, micro ID spear gun rubber. So first thing you wanna do is uh, cut whatever length of rubber that you want for your spear gun. I've got a 26 inch piece here. Uh, take the other stuff, get it out of the way. So what I like to do is some people will leave these flat. I don't like to do that. I like them to make, uh, to make it look good. I also like it um, to be tapered so you can get them in and out of the muzzle better. Uh, so the way that you do that, I just use a simple, simple Phillips head screwdriver, poke it in the end, kind of pull back out so it's nice and flat. Turn on the, the bench grinder. Um, and this is how I do it with this particular one. You can do it with a bend or grinding wheel uh, a vertical bench sander, anything you want, as long as it grinds it down. So basically, this is how I do it. So that's basically how you do it to make it look nice. Uh, just a way better look than flat, I think. It also serves a purpose because when you're putting it in the spear gun muzzle, it's easier to get it through the, through the muzzle holes. So next, what I do is we take loops so i like that there's two ways you can do it you can do it with loops on the end that makes it easier to get in and out of muzzles that aren't that don't have a slot for the band um, or you can actually just tie the knots on the end of your wish or on your wishbone material pop them in but then it's permanent and you'll have to change you have to cut things to get the, the wishbone out so i prefer this here loops are real easy you just take a section of rope do something like that pull it through snip it off and then singe it with the lighter uh, you end up with something like this so micro id is a little bit harder to get the loop into because it's a small hole this is the magic sauce right here crc uh, heavy duty silicone uh, i like this particular brand because it doesn't have a, a really stinky accelerant uh, and it evaporates really fast so you spray a little bit in the end take your needle nose pliers Get them started and this is the tricky part you want this flush with your hand if you have them up here it's going to miss and you're going to end up poking yourself so flush with your hand get it started hold it like that there you go pretty pretty easy you don't need a tool at all to do it just a pair of needle nose pliers next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tie the tie the knot so i have an anchor here uh it's easier because you can only you can have both hands available to tie um, a lot of people do it with two hands. That's, to me, that's harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a constrictor knot. And the way that I do this, start it on the bottom. You go over on the outside, cross on the inside. Then you go under both. Then you pull this one off the end and you go under that one. And then what you do is you seat it. So what you're going to do is use your finger to put it right where you want it. Try to make it look even and nice. Lean into it a little bit and it starts to cinch. Then the pliers again, take them, roll it a couple times, and this is where the anchor comes in. You just lean your body weight into it and twist. That's gonna cinch them down without breaking the line. Even though this is 100 pound test Dacron, it breaks pretty easily when you're doing this. So then you can leave it as is, but what I like to do is I put a little lock knot. That's just my term. I don't know what the actual term for it is, but you go over one more time, under, under. And cinch it again, grab the needle nose, roll them up, lean into it, and you got your knot. So then you grab the scissors, snip it. You want to leave a little bit of an end out there so you can end up uh, singeing it down. Singeing is important or else it'll fray and it may unravel the knot. Probably not, but plus this looks better. So you're not quite done yet. Next you got to do is take something like that, pull the loop out so it's nice and nice and uh, flush with the end there. Now you've got your wishbone material. I'm just using a Dyneema cord line. You can use Spectra, Wax, Kevlar, whatever you want to use. 
Um, and the way to do this, to tie it in, is a real easy knot. You go through the loop, the back of the, around the back of the loop and underneath itself, and you want this end here singed so it won't slip. And then when you cinch it down like that, it's gonna cinch down on itself and it won't slide through. And you do that with both sides and ta-da, you got yourself a spear gun rubber. So it's pretty easy. Uh, once you get the knots down, you can tie your own rubbers. Saves you money in the long run. And uh, yeah, that's the way to do it. So if you don't want to tie your own rubbers, you can always come down to Kona Free Divers and I can tie them for you. Right on guys, thanks so much. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.